After weeks of hard labor, we're finally seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. And projects are being completed at a furious rate. High five, dude. Good job. Luckily, we found an incredible place at Roger and Sally's house in Annapolis. So our quick rest stop has turned into a full-on boat project marathon. With the weather getting colder by the day, we're even more motivated to finish up so Delos can set sail south to warmer climates. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. We're gonna put the sail up. We're gonna inspect the navigation lights today. We're gonna check the rig. We've got a cross breeze today. So the sail's gonna be blown off the port side of the boat right onto the dock, which is really convenient. Kazza will go in the back. She's gonna unfurl the sail. And then when the sail unfurls, it's gonna kind of be blown off the side. And then you're just gonna let it down. I have to take it down this track. It'll either end up on the deck or on the dock and then we'll fold it and we'll put the new one up. Well, the guys at Precision Sales really came through for us. They got us a brand new Genoa here. Oh, beautiful. She's got the Budaman design on her. Cool. And we're gonna lash it down, hoist it, and see how she looks. It's a beautiful sail. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. All right, now we're gonna inspect the rigging. Uh, we're gonna be looking at all of the strands uh, on the deck first, on the lowers. And so what I like to do is I like to take this pick and I just kind of scrape it around between every strand. So if you see one strand that moves, that means there's a chance that it's broken down here, which indicates a problem. Then we're gonna take a look at the threads. We're looking for any obvious physical defects like cracks, uh, a lot of corrosion. We're checking to make sure that our pins are still in that keep it from rotating. So we're just looking for obvious defects. If you do the deck, then I'll do the same thing at the top in the bosun's chair. Sounds great. All right, all safety checks are done. You ready to go? Ready to go. See you up there. Okay. Yep. Uh, I made it to the top. We're about 65 feet up. It's a beautiful view up here. Check this out. There she is. That's how far up we are. How is it down there, Ryan? It's looking good, man. Yeah? Okay, that's cool. But I'm just doing the same thing that Ryan did at the bottom. Just looking at all the pins, making sure this guy hasn't been pulled through. No cracks there. Inspecting the welds along here for any sort of cracks. Okay. Nice, well done. Yeah, so we gotta replace this topper. See the shafe on it. Okay, new topper coming down. The hook for the flag. Flag line done. And the steaming light. Hey, check one more off the list. Boom. Steaming light in business.
she's as excited about the Svalbard release as we are. I know, right? Look at that. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Svalbard series yet, the little nugget wants you to go check it out. She's super proud of her parents for getting it out there. So for you who don't know what we're talking about, we sailed up in Svalbard and have edited together a four part mini series about this crazy adventure. So if you haven't seen it already, head to 80northseries.com and here's a little teaser for you. Man, this is like something that you would see some crazy person doing in the movies. There, there's a ton of them over here. <laughs> That. There's a saying that the, the, the Arctic will kill the unprepared. The minute you let your guard down is when something's going to happen. All right, we're nearing down on the end of the projects here in Annapolis. One of the things we started doing as we walked up the dock to the workshop is counting our trips by paying the toll of a rock in the bucket. So we were wondering how many times we walk up and down these stairs every day and I think it's a lot. So every time we walk past, we have to pay a toll. It's day number 11 of us putting a rock in the bucket for each trip, either up to the shop or from the shop back to the boat. So I have two questions for you. Number one, how far do you think it is from right here to the workshop door? 37 steps and 158 feet. You know exactly. No, I made it up, but it sounded good. Okay, <laughs> great. And I'm how like, many trips do you think we've done over these 11 days? I'm going 300. 300? 300 trips. 327. Wow. Okay. Wait, wait, are you like Price is writing me? Or are you gonna go like $1? Brian's gonna go $1. I'm gonna go 328. <laughs> One of those rocks and figure represents 200 and 90 feet. So every 18, 18. one-way trips is a mile. So the boys are outside counting their rocks right now. And <laughs> I am going to wait until they're done. And then do you want to go outside and show them the little video? It's 160,370 feet. What? 553 trips we've done in the last 11 days. No way. 28.278409 miles. And that's for basically 11 days. 11 days, and we've been here for just over five weeks now. Yeah. So that's including you two. I just want to show you a little video as well. Just before you get to. Sierra. <laughs> Sierra. You. No. You're ruining the coffee. <laughs> no. I can't take them out. Boys, not sure if your counting is going to be accurate. Now we're understanding how there's oh. maybe some smaller oh. pebbles. Either way, that was a pretty oh. impressive. Oh no! That's, that's You're it. busted! Rock fraud! Oh. We have to stay 11 more days. Ah. Come here, baby nugget. Come here. She's oh. like, Mommy, get You're okay. <laughs> Did Mommy blow your cover? It's almost time. We are getting so close to having all or most of our projects done. You can never have all projects done, it's just not possible. <laughs> but I think it's time to go and we're all filling it and we're kind of in the like the cleaning up mode, uh, which feels absolutely amazing. I'm probably gonna put in one more order of food tomorrow and then we might even move off the dock, which feels great to be honest we have to kind of time it with the high tide so we probably have to get out tomorrow and then maybe leave the next day that's the plan mm. um, yeah are you excited about that both <laughs> 
No, I'm super red now. I think Sierra is too. It's getting cold here. It is cold. Yeah. So yeah, getting off the dock tomorrow. Yay! All right, Kaza. The moment of truth. <laughs> it's time to test it. Now, I feel nervous. I'm nervous too, because I replaced a lot of stuff uh, and we have to get the air out of the system. So can you just, I primed it, but can you turn the key over? Can you turn it over for like five or 10 seconds? Okay, turn the key off. Prime it a little bit. There's no weird sounds, so that's good. Try it again. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna have to bleed the injector. Since I replaced nearly all the fuel injection system, there's a lot of air trapped inside. Okay, go ahead. Bleeding the system removes the trapped air and allows the fuel to flow through the injection pump and be squirted through the injectors right into the cylinders. The glass stuff coming out smoke. Careful, you're What's that? Idiot! <laughs> what, what happened? <laughs> I'll show you. I put the gasket in the wrong way. That's how it was. All the holes line up, but then there's a gap. There's like a gap down here. That's where our smoking dragon came from. I think the tide's high enough to try the engine. <laughs> we have to wait for the tide to come up. That's how aground we are. It's ridiculous. Here we go. There goes nothing. Oh, whoa! That's great! Oh, we got water. We got water flow. Are so good. No leaks. No water will leak. I don't see any fuel leaks. That was a lot of work. <laughs> Man. That's crazy. That's amazing though. Good job, Ryan. Are you relieved? Yeah. Like, how do you feel right now? Like, I'm gonna make myself a really stiff whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and watch a Netflix movie and go Maybe. to bed. Yeah. That's cool. Great. Well, we're no longer stranded at the dock. We now have an engine. Yay! Good news. I just wanted to thank you once again for your hospitality and letting us use the shop. It was a game changer for us. And just being having a nice, quiet, calm place, dock to tie up to cars to use uh thank you so much well you're most welcome that's what the boathouse is here for and what, whatever love possessed you, you <laughs> to invite somewhat strangers to your humble abode and well you're not strangers anymore you're friends so. <laughs> good answer that was that was sally's fault and i'm so glad she did it right on all right guys well thank you so much for oh. everything oh my god it's amazing so, so amazing cool. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, we'll, we will meet again, that's for sure. We will. We will. We will. We'll I'm sure we'll be back in through Annapolis again. Yeah. Start it up. That's a good sign. Right. Woo. Are you nervous? Nah. Nah. <laughs> We've done this before. <laughs> what was supposed to be a quick two-week rest stop had somehow turned into a six-week mini refit. By doing all the work ourselves and rebuilding our injectors and pumps rather than buying new ones saved us well over $5,000 in parts alone. Together, including myself, Karen, Bill, and Ryan, we put in over 400 hours of labor during our stay, which at pretty common rates here in Annapolis saved us over $40,000. We got an incredible amount of work done, and once again, Delos and her crew were ready to hit the high seas and continue our adventure. A huge thanks to the kind souls of Roger and Sally, who opened up their home and hearts to us. You're sailors in the truest sense of the word, and we wish you the fairest of winds as you continue your own sailing adventures. Up next on Delos, we're hit by a storm on the Chesapeake. Storm warning, today northeast winds, then becoming north, 35 to 50 knots. 35 to 50? And get our asses absolutely handed to us and our downwind pole gets damaged. Oh. 
like a big kid. Yeah. Oh, a little kid. <laughs> a little in stature. All right, everybody know their jobs? Baby Nugget, do you have a job? Just looking cute. <laughs> Don't put them Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Chunk. Oh, you're back. Hello. <laughs>